Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening. It's your boy Shetty. Welcome back to my channel. Man, it felt good to say that again. Get out. Sit with your chest, boy. It's your boy Shetty. Um, welcome back to my channel. I'm so sorry that I have been gone for so long. I do hope that you guys have been well. For this week's video, essentially, I just wanted to mark my return and I wanted to go out and have a conversation with strangers whom I have never met before about what their definition of love is or isn't. Because to me, there is no singular definition of what love can or cannot be. And so I just wanted to go around and have this conversation with strangers and see what they said. So without further ado, let's roll it. Hello, what is your name? <laughs> my name is Anne. My name is Mike. I'm Rachel. Melissa. Hannah. Hi, I'm Sarah. I'm Ruben. I'm Brenda. I'm Taylor. I'm Caroline. Uh, I'm Monib. Monib. I'm Maya. Camila. Hi, I'm McKenna. Do you believe in the concept of love? Yes. I do. Yes, I do. I believe in the concept of love. Yes, I do now. <laughs> yes. Uh, I do. I do. Uh, yeah. Yes, all right. I do believe in the concept you of do. love. You do. Yes. I do. Yes. You do. What would you define love to be? Uh, pretty much the most powerful force in the universe. I like to focus on main two ones, if you start the concept, Eros and Agave. Eros is essentially desire, Agave is essentially a sacrifice. Alright, what would you define love to be? Um, I think there are different kinds of love. I don't think there's just one singular like definition. Like, I love my best friend, but I also love my mom, and I've, you know, loved significant others. Um, but I think it's just having mutual respect for someone, um, and caring about their well-being, and wanting to be there for them and just having like a mutual, healthy relationship. And what would you define love to be? Um, I think there's a lot of different definitions of love and you can love people in different ways. Um, I think you just have a fond caring for and respect for somebody and support. I think like there's like a big love and that's probably more on a deep like soulmate kind of connection. Yeah. You do. What would you define love to be? Um, I suppose it's putting someone else's needs before your own. Um, well, I feel like love is one mutual for sure. Two, definitely it stems from a place of self-love before. Um, but definitely I would say that it's a matter of being patient with someone and accepting them for who they are regardless of flaws and all. <laughs> what would you define uh, love to be? I would say that love is when you are willing to completely share yourself with somebody and do anything for them, even though it, you don't have to basically, but you're willing to do that for them. I believe that you can love anyone honestly, it just depends on how willing you are to you know who they are and understand their flaws and appreciate anything about them. So. How would you define love? I would define love as people being kind to each other, um, taking care of each other, and understanding each other. All right, what would you define love to be? Um, understanding a person so completely um, and respecting them for what they believe in and just what they are as a person. Um, and it's just about admiration of their whole character, not just about like um, their physical appearance or like their social status or anything. It's just about what you feel about the person. And I think it's totally possible because <laughs> it's it's just what you feel, you know? It's, it's a normal, natural human feeling. Um, I'd say love is like when two people uh, who are both physically attracted to each other as well as like they're attracted to each other on a level of uh, understanding each other beyond that and really like getting to almost like a spiritual aspect of it um, and wanting to like commit to each other beyond like a regular fr friendship commitment. Um, and really like making sacrifices for one another in order to like become that like one soulmate for each other. Not that that exists, but like you can become that based on like the sacrifices you make for each other. How would you define it? Uh, just being with the person you just love. I just being happy and being content with whoever, you know? How would you define it as? So I think that's a, it's a multifaceted question. You've got unconditional love, conditional love, familial. And if you go by C.S. Lewis, who has The Four Loves, which is a really great book that I recommend, uh, you can talk about Eros, Desire, which is a type of love. You also have, uh, <laughs> I can go into detail, but basically, <laughs> love, I believe, is the most powerful force in the entire world. It is uh, what we drive, like how we drive it is the 
most difficult thing for people to actually get because it requires empathy, but you should have universal love for absolutely everything. Maya, what would you define it as? Um, I think a short way of saying it would be putting the other person in front of your own wants and yeah, sacrificing. Dude, what is your definition of it? Um, my definition of love is um, making sacrifices for those that you care about and pushing them to be better people and accepting other people pushing you because they love you. Thank you guys for watching this week's video. I do hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure to leave a like. I hope that this video was able to essentially kind of prove that there is no singular definition for what love is or isn't. And I hope that it also kind of sparks this conversation within yourself or within uh, with other people as well as to what you guys think love is. Um, hopefully I'll be able to make some more of these videos very soon. But signing off, this has been your boy, Shetty. I will hopefully see you guys soon. And don't forget, peace and blessings. Yeah. Also, side note, I just want to say thank you to all the people that participated in this video. Thank you guys. Yeah.